Day after day after day after day of snow, and it's going to continue here over the next couple of days before finally coming to an end. Take a look at what we're tracking. Snow is going to continue through tonight, and that means tomorrow morning plan on it. It's going to take you longer to get to where you're going, so give yourself extra time. We are expecting light snow to continue through tomorrow morning, and we can't rule out a few more showers late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening once again with yet another round of snow moving in this weekend. As far as the snow that we're tracking outside currently, we're not expecting much more in the way of accumulation through tonight. Up to two inches possible around the Colorado Springs area, with most only getting another dusting of snow. Up to two inches also expected around Pueblo. The most accumulating snow throughout the remainder of the night will come in from Walsenburg and Trinidad with two to four inches of snow. And of course, the highest peaks, as we are expecting to see up to another eight inches of snow. So, what's in Sangre is really making out with this storm. The rest of us will see enough to mess up the morning drive once again. Skycast is showing that we're going to keep the snow around through midnight, but then watch what happens between midnight and 7 a.m. The snow really begins to wind down. Here's a look at 7 a.m. About the time when a lot of you will be hitting the roads into school and work, we are still expecting to see a few light showers, but they will not be as intense as the burst of snow that we are tracking out there this evening. Taking you into lunchtime tomorrow, most of the snow is going to stay off toward the west. That means we'll get a bit of a break through the noontime hour into the early afternoon to let those plows get out and do their jobs and clean up the roads a bit. We should see improving road conditions through the afternoon, but watch this. As we head into about 5 o'clock, models are picking up on the potential for a few more showers, mainly south and along Highway 50. If we do get these showers to push in, they will again not be as intense as the snow that we saw out there today, but they could once again cause a few issues for the evening drive, so we'll be monitoring that very closely. As far as temperatures are concerned, it is going to be a chilly one tomorrow with high temperatures topping out at 16 degrees. We'll have most of the snow coming to an end throughout the day will stay quiet Saturday morning, but then Saturday afternoon the snow picks up again. It sticks around off and on through the day on Sunday, comes to an end finally by Monday afternoon, but we're not done just yet. We have one more wave after that to get through, and it moves in Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Wednesday much colder again, with high temperatures topping out at 17 degrees. We'll warm into the 20s though on Thursday, and Thursday is going to be the turning point. Thursday is when we'll begin to dry out, the temperatures will continue to warm up, and beyond Thursday, Looks like we'll have a nice stretch of drier weather too. Pueblo, 20 degrees tomorrow, 24 on Saturday with a high temperature of 23 degrees on Sunday. 34 Monday with temperatures in the 30s again Tuesday before dipping into the teens on Wednesday. In Canyon City, 22 tomorrow is all we're going to get to. 28 on Saturday, snow will continue through the weekend and into early next week. Monday morning may have a few issues for the Monday morning drive. 34 on Tuesday with teens. Again, Wednesday before Thursday, we begin to warm up. 19 degrees in Teller County tomorrow, mid-20s on Saturday with low 20s Sunday. 30s are back on Monday, and then teens are back by next Wednesday. And I just had to show this picture. It was submitted to our Facebook page. It is just beautiful of wow. Greenhorn Mountain. This is just outside of Ryan. I mean, just gorgeous. So, yes, the snow is not fun to drive in, but my goodness, it does make everything yeah. awfully beautiful out when there. When you're inside and it's warm, it's nice to look mm -hmm. at. And we need the water. We'll all be thanking right. the snowstorms when we're able to water our lawns this summer. So, just yeah. keep that in mind, too. Would right. much rather have this snow than any wildfires. So exactly. This is very nice. Exactly. Thanks, Thanks so much. Okay.